and that she has a bow. That's why with young horses I use the phrase, they have to learn to, to be, come to connection, but to use their neck as a balancing pole. So, yes, you could run. A little more push. That, that shoulder steps a little more through. When she's still a little cold, she's not carrying a tail, and then the, the, you have to push. So rather right at this stage, the shoulder in quite powerful, quite free, you understand? Don't try collection. Not faster in rhythm, but that you feel a hind leg really works. So don't ride it casually. Deadly. There, that's better. Don't let it be deep. That's it. Inside and light. There, that's better. Then she grows in front and she swings. You understand? That through the swinging, she has to come to the real connection. The neck is fine this way. Don't take a higher yet. She's still too great. Good. It gets really evenly connected. Loose in your head. Keep driving. Good. That's good sitting in. Half fold. It's always in the corner you feel before the corner of the half fold, and in the corner you feel your driver under. So you're not just cruising through the corner. You ride every corner. Don't have to ride it yet like a Grand Prix horse, but ride the corner, definitely. Don't just cruise. There, yeah, uh, that was good. Good, good. That's good swinging. Because when she connects this way and swings, she gets a little more shoulder freedom. Yeah. She... She doesn't have a super long front leg, you understand? And, and then the trot doesn't, it's not what we call a fancy trot, like five and four. It's more a trot like Brentina. The Germans have a funny word, they call it Hausbacken. That's what they call Brentina. What it means, she is a, a good looking country girl. She's not necessarily a ballerina. Do you understand what I say? So house button means like uh, the, the house farm made her own little bread and it doesn't have the greatest shape. Shoulders back some out. There, that's good. Light on the inside leg. Especially in the house, in the career. That's good. That's good, that trick. Can you feel that? And that's good. There she has that powerful rear end. And that's good if you have a four-year-old horse with that type of rear end. In other words, you know there you will get those big half passes later. Those half passes which can really get eight. You really train well sometimes a nine. But keep training lots of travail. Don't be with the half pass in a hurry. Good. That's good. Both hands perfectly upright. Good. Keep the forward angle. That's it. Yeah. And there we light and think you keep it up here. If that's not yet spectacular, don't worry. Worry about, well, I, but worrying is wrong. Be clearly concerned that she keeps the impulse. The angle and the stronger bend come later. Just that she gets really used to it, to connect and go always into a big trot up. Good. When you do the medium, stay a little looser in your shoulders and in your hips. You tighten up a little. Good. We will later do some mediums on the surface. That's good. That's good. That's good keeping it straight on the outside leg. Good. That's good that I call it a moderate angle, but she keeps really the flow. Then it's good solid work. Huh? That's what's so fun on Mark. Mark from Leslie has that solid work. Not super spectacular, but yeah, there she gets still a little stiffy uneven. So left travail you need to keep working. It, it's more visible from behind, that little stiffness there.
Good. So it's good in the left shoulder in to gymnasticize the left hind leg so that that hind leg steps freer through. Then you get it easier in that left calf part. And feel you keep it super light. Good. That's it. Keep the forward leg. You feel that little bit unevenness? It's especially when you look from the side and from behind. When you look it from the front, the judge might not see it. Keep it forward. Keep it forward. Don't use too much quarter spiral. Rather stress that she steps through with her left hand. You got enough right hand. Huh? The unevenness comes because she doesn't lower enough the left hip. She doesn't step through enough with her left thigh. It's minimal, but an expert would see it. Yeah? The German pro would see that, not necessarily the judges. Good. That's a good neck. Two back. There's good self-care, and then the shoulder gets free. That's why, in my opinion, she's not a candidate you write always super deep. Yeah? Then you take away that freedom. On the other side, you have to keep her round enough to make her still looser in the back. Because that will also help that she swings more through with the hind leg. Keep forward, then. Good. Enough next time. There, that's better. That side is easier. Good. That side, I can see a lowering of the inside hip. Good. Good. Positive. So stress in your left traverse to be light in the inside and, and, and lots of, you can even go short side shoulder and long side traverse. The arena is a little smaller. Hopefully Keep right, Brent. Keep right, Brent. That's it. Yeah. Both hands up, right? That, that's it. Little round, a little round, and more forward through. You're still a little stiff in cold. Keep her first a little forward and make her round. Otherwise, you could feel that backing off. Yeah. And into the outside, Brent. You can use your inside hand to stop it, but that you feel the frame is on the outside, Brent. That's so important for your counter canner yesterday. Because then in the counter canner yesterday, you had to be quite strong on that outside range. And what you want is that, he's a little more, that she's a little more responsive. Good. Now in the large arena, it's good if you can't on the inside track. It makes the horse straight. Good. Sit still. Very good. Very good. That's it. Keep driving around. That's it. But you always feel she comes over the back. If she gets a little looser through the back. There. And her tail comes a little more. And she's first a little tight right behind the saddle. The Germans call it in the near party. Then she doesn't carry her tail enough and everything gets a little stiffy, rocky. Good. Because she is what we call a compact horse. Very compact. Good. That's good. That's good. Keep it straight on your right back. Very positive. Good. Left hip forward. Sit still in the upper part of your body. Good. A little more shoulder in like uh, preparing the transition to walk. If you get to the last side, a little bit sitting down. Just a little. Not, not yet like a medium or a Grand Prix or but. A wee little more, shoulder in like. You had it relatively straight. And then she bounced a little bit against the hand. 
So keep her round, but don't make her too strong in the transition. Yes, and more outside brain. You had now, with your did shoulder, you had too much inside brain, then you lost the rear end. You'll see it on the video. So if you want to control the rear end, you have to have more outside brain and outside leg back. So when you go shoulder in like, don't pull the forehand to the inside. Think you hold the forehand to the outside leg to the inside. Better. And really keep that outside leg back because she swings out on the circle. Good, good. Into the part, also more outside leg. And right shoulder more back. Good. Minimum inside there. You got enough neck pain. Good, 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 good. Keep that just easy angle. Don't do yet full fast pass. It's more important you get transition. You can later go medium collected. You can go flying change. The half pass is not a problem. You can play a little bit like you did. Good. Okay, you got Good. Again, into the part, like the shoulder in line. If she doesn't swing a quarter there. But it was pretty good with the slight swinging in. That's it. Position right and supple. So on this side, you want to work on getting it soft position. On the other side, you want, we want to watch that you don't have too much position, that you don't ride too much on your inside leg. Good. Left shoulder back. Good. Good. That's good. There she jumps and motors nicely. The nice thing about her, she's not so out behind, you understand? She's pretty closed up through a compact thing, so her canter. The outside hind doesn't look so far out. It comes naturally under there. So you can expect already from that cant a pretty good pirouette. Huh? She has a good natural bend in the hock joint, and the way she uses her hind leg with the canter, it's good for pirouette. Good. There you can see in that transition how she sets up. And that's exactly what you want for the pirouette later. Good. Good. Put the forehand to the right. If you have her on the outside rein, but she's a little position there. That's better. That's a good neck. You keep her that round. Don't let her move out. Good. Good. A little more half up. It was all right, but it's a little running through the chain. So see if you can do it a little quieter and give a half up. So that in the fine chain, she keeps her back up. Don't try to ride it big forward because then she flattens, which she did. Good. That was better. Even if it wasn't perfectly straight, but her back came a little wide. You understand? Yeah. So you, you want rather when you teach the flying thing, not that she speeds up and flattens out. You want her rather to prolong the moment of suspension to get the back up. Later you can ride the changes more forward, but first you have to teach her to, to get a precise change to the back up. Good. Good. Quiet. Well, that was... She did it, but it wasn't on the rhythm. It doesn't matter. When you take the leg back, don't take it away. Keep it, slide it back at the horse. You took the left leg a little away, and then it surprised her and she didn't change on your rhythm. 
be changed by all. So, take the legs back, but keep it at point. Keep left, then. Good, good. Was a little forced, but all right. At least she stayed quiet. But when you prepare that change from left to right, really keep her straight, get her onto the left right. Not that when you do it at the corner, the forehand shrinks to the right. You understand? You want her rather to change forward, not diving with the forehand to the right. So really stress that onto the outside rank. But good. I mean, the more often you do it, you play with it, I don't want to start counter -cutter. not rather start inside lead and change. After the changes, I want to really work, make sure you can do half diagonal that she's nicely straight. And if she gets too strong towards the short side, you rather go to walk and start it again. So what I, what I would advise you is not to force it through the corner when she's not balanced. Rather go to walk and start counter can again until she balances. And now the left brain half off. That's pretty good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, very good. Better than yesterday. Yes, sit still. Come on the middle track. Good, good, not bad. Good, that's good. And now prepare the transition to walk. Well done. That was good. Much better on that corner, on the short side. It helps them have a little bit of larger arena. Tough if the arena is narrow. And then the same, up right hand. But it was also good, oh, you got a nice straight half time, but she doesn't anticipate change after you did. But it's sometimes good for the young horse to have the walk between the flying changes and the counter can. Later, you can go right on after the flying change. But the young horse, let it just always digest. She's so good in the mind. If you can keep that, then you have a, a settled horse for the top level. That's what Debbie did with Brantina. She didn't push her. Right then, half her. Right shoulder back. There. That's good. There. That's very good. The group is under. Much better than yesterday. Good, and again middle circle. Not just because it's a test, but I think it's a good exercise to ride the middle circle at the counter counter, where you try to not swing the quarters out. Good, good. Super, and then walk. Moment walk, and then we do medium. So that quiet rhythmic, yeah. first of all, that she's really reliable settle. Yeah. Not right away brilliant. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That she is really comfortable with all the exercise. You can take from young horses what they offer, but they have to be comfortable with it. Now they, then they work willing. And, and this is pretty uncomplicated. Yeah. So that's all very good collective. Down is good. Yeah. A little more balance. Yeah. Could say they have more collection, but I use the word balance. It was yesterday when she got strong, it wasn't balance. You understand? Obviously, slightly collection is better balance. But but what my first teaching idea is that the counter canner becomes a balanced affair. I see so much counter canner in second level where the horses are just not balanced, and the judges don't know the system. 
In other words, the horses get strong, they get strung out, they get, they don't stay steady, rhythmic with the crew under. Later you can have more collection, but in the moment you shouldn't even have more collection. But you should do it regularly, just quietly large. Obviously a small arena is a little bit of handicap, so you have to take the horse as often as you can to other places where they have larger. Okay, one more trot. Show me a little. We try on the circle. So it doesn't have to be spectacular. It's just the, the principle that when you do a little medium trot, she stays loose, swinging. So that you're not going full charge down the rail and it gets tight. Take your time. Now, now don't make it there too deep. If she doesn't curl and back up. Good. Relax your hips. Good. 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 That's good. I'm bringing it back. Now, when, when you... When you increase, stay more loose. Leave your hands loose, leave your shoulders loose. You get it a little more from behind, lean a little back. There, stay loose, lighter. Yeah, there, that's better. There, that's better. And bring it back. Could you feel that? Yeah, yeah. yeah it shouldn't look yet if you tighten up. Right. Yeah? It's, I always told you that, and I told Günther the same, that you meet swinging in the middle positura. Yeah? Then you get that nice uphill frame there, what you saw yesterday on that picture from Humberto Smith, yeah? That's a beautiful picture, the way he sits. And then it looks more that the horse does it all on his own accord. Yeah? It, and on this big horse with a strong back, you can lean a wee little back, yeah? Don't have to exaggerate, but yeah, good, good. That's up and up, don't get it higher. It's quite a good uphill cadence. You feel that? Yeah. That's good. Yes, and train that, especially if you've got a large arena on the circuit. Because there she really learns rather to lengthen more, not just to speed up and charge. You right. follow me? Right. Yeah, good, good. Stay loose in your head. That's good. And bring it back. Good. Now let's go start and let's work on some halts. And maybe a little rain back. But take your time. You go large. On the track. I didn't like that corner. You'll see on the video. That's what we call upkeeping. When she curls this, you understand? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Take your time. Right. Don't just take time. Right hand. Good. Raise it, raise it. And trot. Just take your time. And they don't have to be right away trot hard. Because we want it. But rather do it gentle. Good. Bend it through the corner. Good. Up here. Keep around for the transition. And another hop. That was good. Right hand. The rest was good. I like the finish. And trot one spot. Good, good to pass. Right from the spot. Good. The corners are a little soft. So be careful. Good. That was a good balance for the cock. Who on the center, on the back? It keeps nicely straight. Good. That's good. That's super. Good. I'll take the reins and left hand. Even if it's not perfect, I'm going to step back. Just so you can pat it. Good. And try. Right. Good. Good. Really good hand leg. Ah, good. Good swinging. 
and one maha. Good. Right hand. Good. Let us stand. He's a little too far forward in the left front, but better this way than the other. Now try a gentle rain back. Just one or two steps. Keep it deep. Good. Good. And walk. Turn right. Go here. In a diagonal line and half again. Well, she doesn't need a cooler. Okay. Let's get on. Walk. Step forward, half a step, right front, right, left side, left side. Good. Now she has to put it down. Now go forward a couple of sides. Good. Right hand. Good. And rain back one or two steps. Lean forward, legs back. That's it. Yeah. Good. Yeah, good, good, good. There, praise it. That's good. Then we've got diagonal. Change rein, left rein. And try one quiet the rail. No, no. Just hard rein back. Just rein back. But start with one or two steps. Just that she's willingly going back. That she gets the idea. But it's important that she's closed up. Left, go forward, straight. Left hand was swinging in. Left hand upright. Good. Left hand. Good. Raise it. And now rain back one or two steps. Forward. Keep left side. Perfect. Thank you. Do a little long and low. Yesterday you started a little bit large, severe walk. So it's a period. Good. Keep doing that. But that's basically a program. Just walk a couple.